In this video I'm gonna show you how to fix your microphone if it doesn't work in CSGO so make sure that you watch this video till the end if you want to know how to fix it. Before we start I just want to say subscribe to my channel and like this video if it helps and let's start. So first of all what you want to do is click on the search bar and type microphone privacy and open the microphone privacy settings. Now make sure that this is on so it should say microphone access for this device is on if it's turned off then what you want to do is click on change and just turn it on. Also make sure that this is turned on as well it says allow apps to access your microphone and now you can choose and find Counter-Strike Go as you can see here it is and make sure that allow desktop apps to access your microphone is also turned on. So if this is turned off then your microphone won't be working in CSGO. Once you turn this on what you want to do is just close the microphone privacy settings. If that didn't work then the second step is to click on the search bar again and type sounds and open the change system sounds control panel. Now go to the recording tab and make sure that your microphone is set as the default one so it should have this green tick next to it. If it doesn't then what you want to do is simply click on it and click on set default. If your microphone isn't on this list then close the sound properties, click on the search bar again, open the device manager so type device manager and open it. Click on the arrow next to sound, video and game controllers. Right click on the first one. Click on uninstall device. And click on uninstall again. And do this for all of the drivers under the sound, video and game controllers. So what you want to do is just uninstall all of them. Once you're done, close the device manager and restart your PC. Once you restart it, your microphone should be working. And the last step is, if you have a headset, that needs to be plugged in in your PC. If you get the notification in the bottom right corner right here, then what you want to do is don't click on OK, but instead click on the notification itself and the Realtek control panel should open up. And once you open the Realtek control panel, you just need to close it. And I don't know why, but this works. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video if it helped. Bye.